Anxiety can feel like such a beast. Its howls echo through your mind, filling you with scary thoughts. Its roars flood your bloodstream with stress hormones, which can be very uncomfortable. And its cries try to convince you to avoid things that are important to you, like meeting new people or going on a first date. It can feel like your anxiety beast is out to get you, like a villain in your life's story. The way anxiety is talked about in society also makes it feel like a villain. Messages saying that you can cure, overcome, or eliminate anxiety are not only false, they set anxiety up as your nemesis. There are countless books, blogs, and gurus promising methods to forever rid you of anxiety, yet anxiety remains a fact of life. But just like that beast in the fairy tale Beauty and the Beast, your anxiety is actually a misunderstood hero. It can be loud and unpleasant to be around at times, but it means well. Its job is to protect you from anything it perceives to be a threat to you, whether that be the footsteps behind you in a dark alley or public speaking at work. However, your anxiety beast is an overzealous bodyguard. Much of the time it misperceives relatively safe things as dangerous, but it's not its fault. The emotion of anxiety was developed to help humans survive their dangerous prehistoric past. Even today, your anxiety is at its best when you are facing threats that are readily apparent and imminent, like the ones early humans faced frequently. But change came very quickly for humans. The leap from hunting and gathering to the bombardment of 24-hour news, the internet, smartphones, and social media has occurred in a relatively short period of time from an evolutionary perspective. Our anxiety is still stuck in the mindset of, just pick up a large rock and beat the animal with sharp teeth on the head. We have developed complex brains that are aware of our place in the world, our status among others, our fragility, and our mortality, not things that other animals have the ability to be concerned about. No book, blog, or guru can change the fact that you are a member of a species of natural-born warriors. Buying into the message that anxiety is an opponent to be defeated at all costs only makes you anxious about being anxious. Trying to be anxiety-free and battling with your anxiety beast when it shows up to protect you only leads to more suffering. And running from or avoiding reasonably safe situations that awaken your anxiety beast is a recipe for developing an anxiety disorder, a clinical condition that can hold you back in life. Rather than fighting or running from your anxiety, you can learn to have a better, more compassionate relationship with it. Rather than trying to evict it from your life, you can treat it with care, understanding that your anxiety just wants to help. By seeing it from a gentler lens, you are bringing in the soothing power of compassion rather than the intensifying effect of resistance and struggle. I'm Dr. Eric Goodman, author of Your Anxiety Beast and You, A Compassionate Guide for Living in an Increasingly Anxious World. The illustrations were by Louise Gardner.